To make a social media post, take the object selection tool and click on header, select subject. Because the image is high resolution, also the background is blurred, the image is more focused, it will automatically create a selection on it. Next, we will add a layer mask on it so that later when we need to make changes in the selection, we can easily do that. Because the ratio of the social media post is a square, so take the crop tool and change the ratio to 1 by 1 square. Press enter to crop the outer part. Zoom in and add an adjustment layer of gradient for the background. Click on gradient to edit. Expand the red group. Let's use this gradient. Hit OK twice and drag this layer right below the image. Let's add some text. Take the text tool and type look. For this I'm using Christmas wish font. Type another text bold. Change its font family to Monstrate Extra Bold. If you are wondering, the download link for both fonts are mentioned in the description. Change the font color to yellow because it always gives complement to the red color. Hit OK. Now take the Move tool, move it to the center, increase its size, select the Look text and place it at the corner. Let's move it above the bold text layer. To give it a dynamic look, we will rotate the bold text and add little bit rotation to the look text so that they can match while holding shift select both layers and move them to the center I think it will look good if we add some rotation to the image as well scale it up we actually want to hide the O letter with its head this is looking good let's take the pen tool and create some triangles choose the color white and take the shape create a triangle on the bottom corner Set its opacity to 20%. We will create two more triangles like that and set their opacity 20%. It will create multiple shapes of triangle and polygons. Now while holding shift select all three layers and press Ctrl G to create a group. Rename it as shapes. Next select the shape, right click, open the blending option, click on drop shadow. We can manually adjust the distance. Reduce its size and increase the opacity. Hit OK. To make this post more presentable, press Ctrl J to create a duplicate copy of the image. Hide the drop shadow, zoom out. Press Ctrl or Command T to transform. Scale it up and place it on the right. Press Enter and make its opacity to 20%. Drag this layer right above the background layer so that it will not affect the text or the main image. To add more contrast, add an adjustment layer of gradient right above all layers. Click on gradient and choose black and white gradient. Hit OK. Set the style gradial. Tick on reverse. And set the scale value to 177. Hit OK. Set the blend mode to soft light. And make its opacity to 50%. Right now the image is looking dull so select the image layer and add an adjustment layer of color lookup. Set the 3D load file to film stock and make its opacity 70%. The background is too plain so we will create a pattern for it. Select the background layer and create a new layer. Press T for default colors then press all backspace to fill the black color. Set the blend mode to dissolve and opacity 10%. It will create small black grains. Drag this layer to the group icon to create a group and make its blend mode to soft light. Rename this group as texture. While holding shift select the gradient and press ctrl G to create a group. Rename this group as background. Next create a new layer right above all layers and take the brush tool, zoom out and brush it on the bottom corner. Set its blend mode to soft light and make its opacity 70%. I think the shape should be below the image. So drag this group right below it. While holding shift select all rest of the layers and press ctrl G to create a group, rename it as design. So that's how we create a post design.
you can create your own post with your images and stand out from rest of the crowd. If you learned something, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section how was the tutorial. My name is Shubham. I thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.